YOLO, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for V-Build Live. Say hello, chat. Now you're in the actual YouTube video. We're going to do us some uh, AMRC, and I'm here with Kryn. Hello. How you doing? Good. How am I doing? Excellent. Could I be doing better? Mm, yes. Oh. Do better. Okay. Feel better. I'll use more skill. Live better. Live the most. Mm. I'm going to move this camera up a little bit. Camera, go. So uh, we're probably not going to use the stream recording this time because it's mostly there so the stream can see stuff. <laughs> um, anyway, hope that everyone's doing well. Intern Kryn, thank you uh, once again for manning the chat and yes. uh, and letting me use your um, your living space mm -hmm. and filling it up with my mechanical chain base. <laughs> we're going to uh, put together RC's little uh, micron here, Ark. Uh, Ark is a pink girl robot because RC is a girl. And girls have girl robots who are pink. Mm -hmm. It's just the way of things. So does that mean that he's a girl because he's pink? No, he's an androgynous, dome-headed robot thing. Mm. That's different. Adam Wilson, numbers, 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 asked me how was my Thanksgiving. It was very good, thank you. How was yours? No one cares what my Thanksgiving oh, was like. no, no. S.C. Bingham just asked how was your American proper Thanksgiving. Well, number one, I don't believe it's proper just because it's American. It's plenty proper. We it get is. two days off. Oh, look at you fancy pants with your two days off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, <laughs> it was actually pretty good. I had some, uh, I had some hella food. <laughs> some excellent turkey. Yeah, um, Crin's dad cooks super well. Yes. Crin's whole family cooks super well. Except Crin. <laughs> Ex Crin cooks super well. <laughs> no. No, you do. My dad does this thing where he takes the turkey and he covers it in bacon. And then they cook it, and that's the secret to delicious, delicious turkey. Yeah, and uh, I was kind of new to that whole thing. So I'm used to turkey, I'm used to Thanksgiving in general, being a kind of a, oh God, everything's turkey. Why is everything turkey? <laughs> and, uh, you know, this time it, it went a lot better. And I actually enjoyed the leftovers. Yes. I'm not used to that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I was uh, delaying there a little bit because I had to fix some settings on the camera. Alright, we're talking about turkey covered in bacon. Torque. Torque. So, M. He123, who is our Who's friend that? Alex. That's our friend Alex in Toronto. I, I don't know anyone called. What are you talking about? Alex loves YOLO. Everyone say YOLO to Alex. <laughs> oh, he, YOLO, everybody. He says, Crin's family secret recipe add bacon to everything. This is actually true. <laughs> uh. And I believe bacon-covered turkey is probably a lot safer than deep-frying a turkey. Though I wouldn't knock it, because I haven't ever tried that before, and it sounds pretty good. Although I'd You need be afraid. a huge deep-fryer. Yeah, you know, I think, like, there are thousands of fires from those every year. Because people, people don't know how the deep-fryers work. <laughs> no, they don't. Yeah, you just throw the turkey in there, it'll be well, fine. <laughs> well, I think there's rules, like, don't do it in a garage where there's a roof above it, but they do it in the garage where there's a roof above Rule it. Rule number one for college kids, don't do it. <laughs> When there's a what? <laughs> Don't fry your turkey in a closed space. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. Mm. We're trying to keep things PG here. The Silent G will be in Toronto for Christmas this year. Why? I'll, I'll don't know. Hmm. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Alex says, Vangelis, you still have my Game of Thrones DVD. I do. I am keeping it safe. Hmm. Keep it safe. T16 Skyhop says Shatner deep fries turkey. Well, Shatner does a lot of things that mortal men can't do. <laughs> like live to be 300 years old. <laughs> I will deep fry your turkey. To try, try and tell me Shatner isn't 300 years old. Uh, he's probably not actually 300 years old. Prove it. Um, let me get my carbon dating kit and a scrap of William Shatner. <laughs> you have a scrap of William Shatner? <laughs> Why don't I have a scrap of William Shatner? Um, I don't know. Everyone's got one. Don't you guys all have one? Oh, man, I'm not cool. <laughs> Noise Maze says, hey, the key to putting that sticker on straight is to put the sticker on straight. Oh, man, thank you. Noise Maze is always helpful. Noise Maze is uh, a dude. He's the man. Like, you know, you, you, go, out, you go out in your day-to-day -day life and you're like, hey, dude, you know who shows up? Noise Maze. Noise Maze. <laughs> Noise Maze is also the 
premier North American collector of Noise Maze mass production versions. Mm. Which leads into how uh, I may have had a hand in him spending a lot of money. Oh. You see, Noise Maze was a character in Transformers Galaxy Force. Okay. And there was an episode where they showed he came from uh, a planet where all the inhabitants looked like versions of himself colored gray. And they were called the Noise Maze mass production versions. Problem is, the only way to get that version of the toy was to buy a Japanese DVD that it was attached to, and Japanese DVDs are generally about 70 bucks a piece. Dang. Uh, and because everyone wanted that toy, it shot up in value immediately, and suffice to say, I believe Noise Maze has three of them. Wow. I'm mm-hmm. sure he can clarify. How many do you have, Noise Maze? I want GM Fan to have, like, 300 of them. No, he just has swerves. Oh. Is GM Fan in there? No. He better not be. Noise Maze confirms there are three. GM fan already ganked up my Kabaya Fort Max stream. <laughs> Stupid GM fan. He's a he's the worst male girlfriend I have. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Zachatron says, "Me and you are his or her fav- second favorite internet people." Hooray! Second Aww. favorite. That's a silver medal. <laughs> that means we have to try hardest. Nah, it means we can just stay where we are and still be second best. I want to be the best. Well, I think it takes, like, a ton of work to go from second to first, but not so much work to go from third to second. Yeah, but there's a song about it. I want to be the best around. Nobody's going to ever keep keep me down. Uh, was that Snoop Dogg? <laughs> no, it's, you know, it's by the... Whoever did that song, the B-52s or something. The <laughs> B-52s. Hey, sweet. We get $10,000 for being silver. Yes. Oh, but we could get more if we were gold. Mm-hmm. Always would, want you more. You just spend it on, like, Viacons or something. I have enough Viacons now until the Viacon General comes out. Yeah, until it comes out in purple, and then it comes out in silver. Well, it actually is coming out in silver. And then it comes yeah. out in, like, a whole new color that no one's ever seen before. Oh, well, yeah, of course. That's how it goes. <laughs> All right, Pajama Prime says, Ask Vangelis about the time he owed me a Coke. Winky face. I, yeah, I owed him a Coke, and then I got him a Coke. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Did I just blow your mind? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. The sticker's getting a bit excited. Okay, Un- <laughs> unstick from there. It's not your time yet. All right, Sprocket Man is quoting Rihanna. Sweet. All right. Does the chat have any questions about the uh, the model kit being assembled in the stream, like the subject of the video? Yeah. Uh... Face glasses says, Crin, I miss you massively. Come back to Toronto. Okay. Do who is face glasses? I don't know. What you? Uh, who are you? I don't know this internet name of you. Oh wait, face. I know who that face is. Glasses? Yeah, it's probably uh, it's probably a gentleman who lives in my house. Oh really? I'm guessing. <gasps> He's probably trying to trying to be very incognito. Oh, well, in that case, I miss you too. Person. Person, and I, I should I tell him what I got for your little Christmas tree? Well, if it is him, yeah, but I might be wrong. I'm kind of making a a thirty percent chance of getting it right. Guess here. Oh. Barricade sixty four. Uh, the pink micron is called Arc because RC's name starts with A R C, which can be pronounced as Arc. And it's not ARC. Uh, it is actually Aruku, so it's Ark. It is confirmed that it is indeed face glasses. Where, where did you say that? Oh, it is face glasses. Face glasses. You are very welcome. And I have procured for you some wonderful little ornaments for your little Christmas tree. How lovely. Yay! Yay. We did. We went to, uh, what was it, the the Walmart Christmas section? Yes. They have their own little cordoned off part of the warehouse. It's all Christmas stuff. And they have Transformers Prime stuff in there, by the way. Yep, which we bought. Yes. All right, there is a question I saw. Okay, are you terrified of the RC stickers on the same level of Breakdown's bumper? Not really. Uh, they don't look stupid. <laughs> That's one huge boon. Um. And I was looking over the instructions a little bit today, and it, d- it didn't look like it was going to be uh, uh, kind of like as, as irritating as these have gotten sometimes. I mean, I'm sure I'll be proven wrong, but uh, RC looks like it could be a really fun bit of arms microning if if people out there can can find one for a decent price. They're seeing glare. 
Yeah, well, maybe they should uh, do something about it. Can you, they're asking, can you do anything about the glare? Oh, uh, I, unfortunately I have no control over the white balance of, uh, of this camera. The best thing I could do would maybe be to move the instructions somewhere more out of the way. <laughs> it's your glowing power hands. If I put them th there, uh, mm. that might help. Oh, this looks like it's helping. Yeah. <laughs> there. Noise me says, stop being so goddamn pasty. I fixed Hey, listen, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't need none of that stinking vitamin F or whatever <laughs> it is you get from the sun. All right, there are a couple comments about the cool backdrop you have. Uh, what is it? Uh, that is a mechanical chain base. It's six of them, actually. Because uh, if you buy one, then you end up going and buying more, so I just bought six all at once. Uh, they're by Kotobukiya, I believe. They're a pretty common uh, toy photography background. So I've decided I want to start using them as a background for stuff involving robots. Robots! And for V-Builds, because that way we don't run into the, the wonderful thing of trying to work with a background that is an upside-down basket on a stool. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. That was fun, but mm. that was a that was an experience. <laughs> hey, <laughs> speaking of experiences, I have to go and check on my computer. You do. The first of many checks. Yep. We're running a real uh, high-end operation here. On the uh, come on, uh, this energon crystal doesn't want to go in. <laughs> We're running a real high-end operation here at. Uh, Casa de Crin. Yeah, Casa de Crin. I think I put the sticker in crooked. You're crooked. You can't call me that. That's racist. No. -uh. Oh, what was that thing we saw today? Blinging? Oh, what was it? Bling someone. Oh, God. It was so oh, good. like the blingulation machine? Oh, yeah. There was this, uh, this toy that we saw. It was like a little girl's make things blingy by sticking sticky sparkly things to it. It was called like Blinganation and it had a little tagline. Oh, I think it was Bling It On. Oh yeah, Bling It On. And I was like, hey, hey Evangelist, mm, Bling It On. It sounds kind of racist. Yeah, and I was like, why do you... I'm not going to do it here. Do it, do it, do it. No. Bling It On. I'll get in trouble again. You got in trouble? No, but you know, the Mormons, they're always watching. <sighs> Lame. We can't start trouble with them again. Oh. I'm on watch. <laughs> You're on watch. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on notice. All right. I think that's the best we're gonna do with Energon Crystal. Sweet. So let's just uh, let's just ram it in, as they say. Oh my. This is the pinkest robot in the world. I want to know how it transforms. Oh, you're getting glare again. Oh, yeah? A little bit. Well, what are they going to do about it? Uh, what you guys going to do about it? There we go. There you go. They have us a tiny little knife. Oh, they said they're going to complain. Complain to who? <laughs> they're going to complain at us, I guess. President Internet? <laughs> President Internet. Yes, the UN. We're going to the UN. <laughs> Bring it. I could fight the UN. <laughs> Alright, I'll put the instructions over here, or hopefully they'll be out of the way. They're totally not. They're totally causing massive glare, but that's fine. Uh, Face Glasses wants to know if you would like some coffee. Sure. Just bring it over. Yes, please. Uh, that would be quite helpful. Thank you. By the way, there's someone here named Apple Fritters. And that's awesome. By dint of Apple Fritters are delicious. I love Apple Fritters. Apple Fritters are fucking delicious. What? Who's Apple Fritters? I don't know, but I like the name. Man. Well, we're going to move into the part that uh, some folks hate now in V-Builds, where we sticker the Transformer. Sweet. Because we're no longer technically building things except for building the application of stickers on a Transformer, which in my opinion is still building. <laughs> Captain Zero says, you hear that? You are delicious. <laughs> Two apple fingers. Oh, I was going to say thank you, but <laughs> if it's not to me, then, uh, you know... Know what you can go do to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> we had a bunch of donuts today. 
We got six all different kind of donuts. We had Super Wegman donuts. We tried to try all different ones. They were very delicious. Yeah. Mm. We had a donut party. Krona says, you're delicious too, Benji. Oh. Oh, Apple Fritter says, my usual screen name is Delicious Bagel. That sounds familiar. Oh, that does sound familiar. But apple fritters are more delicious than delicious bagels. That's true, too. Mm. Really, I like both screen names. I'm not going to lie. Yes, they're both good. Proto Man is here. Also, this sticker went on gloriously. Hooray! Look at that. It went on the big round surface, and it's only got like one wrinkle. Sweet. Well done, Arms Micron. Well done. That still should have been a paint app, but well done. <laughs> well done, kind of. Well done, except for the part where you f failed. Mm. Jama Prime wants to know if I am coming to TFCon next year. Are you coming to TFCon next year? I would like to, if I can. That would be kind of cool. Well, are you allowed to? Am I allowed to? Are you allowed to? Uh, guys, am I allowed? <laughs> oh, don't ask them. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> no. Protoman says, Arms Micron RC, blarg. You're a blarg. <laughs> yes, I do have a passport. Will Kryn be in another episode of WTF? Uh, we did, oh, we didn't record you when you came by. Kryn, Kryn was there for 227, but wasn't on 227. I was in the other room. Yes. <laughs> Kryn was not feeling too well. I would, would not mind being on another WTF. That was really fun. We're, we actually, me and Kryn might record a WTF about her thoughts on having finally viewed Transformers Dark of the Moon with me yesterday. <laughs> I don't remember most of it. <laughs> I know, but I still think you enjoyed it to some degree. I could tell. Actually, I'm going to say it right here. Kryn totally laughed during Jerry Wang's scenes. Uh, maybe. <laughs> it seemed a bit inappropriate and lulzy. I'm very proud of her for seeing what was funny about Jerry Wang's scenes and not getting hung up on the fact that his name was Jerry Wang. Uh, we're getting Wangs in all capitals now. <laughs> Where? Oh, yeah, that's right. Let me tell you guys the one thing that people don't need to care about with Dark of the Moon in terms of getting upset about the movie at all. People need to stop getting upset about the Jerry Wang scene. There are far more pressing issues in that film to get upset about. <laughs> like Optimus being like a, a psychopath, murdering no, person. <laughs> most specifically, the biggest issue with that movie and the one that people should be raising hell about is how inhumanly the robots were treated. Uh, and how they weren't treated as characters, but they were treated as props and set dressings. Uh, particularly when robot characters in Dark of the Moon died. That is the big problem with Dark of the Moon. That is the only problem with Dark of the Moon that people should be rallying about, because that cripples anything else the movie did. Well, but instead, everyone's all like, yeah, Jerry Wang. Well, yeah. what, <laughs> what about the part where they sacrificed Chicago? You see, that part's just funny. That, you know what I was thinking when they did that? I was like... Oh, poor God, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Poor, He's getting murdered. No. Poor, poor Ichabod. Oh, no, Gog Dog wasn't in, in that version of Chicago. He, that version of Chicago is before he moved there. I know, but in that it was still timeline. the first thing I thought. Oh. Because other than Roses, he's the only person that I know for sure lives there. Ichabod lives there. I didn't know that, but now I do. No one cares about Ichabod. No, I just didn't know. Poor Ichabod. Poor Ichabod. Don't worry, we'll come visit sometime. <laughs> the sticker's a jerk. What's it doing? It's not adhering to the sculpted lines. Hmm. Wait. No, it might be now. <laughs> Pajama Prime says, Insert Ichabod theme song. Ichabod Crane. <laughs> Cronus says, Put it on right. It'll work. I am putting it on right. The sticker just didn't know I was right. S.C. Bingham says, and don't forget the robot drool. Yeah, I asked about that. I'm oh. Like, is he bleeding or drooling? Yeah, the, the robot drool, <laughs> I mean, it's dumb, but I'm not going to come. Really, the only thing we should all be rallying against, because anything else we talk about is minor in comparison, is the fact that not a single robot in Dark of the Moon had a dramatic death. They all died like props. They all got their heads ripped off. And the, or their their faces blown out, and they would die and fall apart like a prop, and then no one would ever bring them up again. 
How can you have characters... Hey, spoilers for Dark of the Moon, by the way. How can you have characters who had speaking roles through the entire trilogy get killed off with absolutely zero fanfare or recognition or even a single passing word of oh no from a single character on screen? Like, how do you do that? How do you do that? How do you... How do you go to a superlink level narrative failure like that? That's my problem. <laughs> superlink <laughs> narrative failure. <laughs> That's right. I went there. <laughs> Everything so special says, I still thought BB should have died. Is BB the girl? No, it's Bumblebee. Oh. Wow. Wow, why do you hate Bumblebee so much? Do you hate children, too? You... <laughs> Bumblebee, like, opened himself up and let little gears fall out to be, like, fake marriage. Uh, I know, Bumble that Bumblebee gutted weird. himself and, like, just, like, sprayed his intestines everywhere, that going, like, really weird. Where are my intestines, Sam? <laughs> Where are my intestines with your mate? <laughs> you know Bumblebee's had, like, a weird, like, semi-psychotic, codependent relationship with Sam ever since the first movie? Yeah, ever since the making out session on his... Yeah, or something and like then that. they they fixed his voice at the end of the first movie, and then they got rid of it. Yeah, and then it was it was, and they never say why it was whacked out again. You know why it was whacked out again? Uh, I bet you he ripped his own throat out because he couldn't handle the idea of still being friends with Sam and not having a reason to rely on Sam. And he's like, oh, I can't, I can't be better. I have to, I have to still be worse for Sam's sake. I have to be crippled. And he ripped his own throat out. I bet you that's what he did. That's right before Bumblebee destroyed the planet Cybertron in Dark of the Moon. Oh, Bumblebee. I love Dark of the Moon. <laughs> oh, yeah, and Austin Tucker. Dark of the Moon's whole thing of, like, the action scene ends and then they slam to credits is the funniest dumb thing in the world. <laughs> there's, some, there's literally no denouement from the fact that everyone just got horrifically killed. It's just like, movie's over. Get out. <laughs> Look, you can't sleep in this theater. Get out of here. It's RC. Yeah. We're going to stick her up her body now. Ooh. That's right. Is she slightly sparkly? Yep. I can see the sparkles. Usually I'm watching the chat, so I don't always look at what you're doing. Oh, I never look at what I'm doing. Sparkly. I'll glare at you. How would that... Why, why do you got to be hating? I'm just not hating. Why do you got to be glaring? Because you said you wanted me to look at you. Oh, okay. Thanks for looking at me. <laughs> Proto Man says, Oh man, those micron ports need a better color. <laughs> They're just really pink. That's the best color. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want two gigantic pink ports hanging off of RC's back? What are you, some kind of fairy? You don't like that kind of thing? Wing boobs, they're saying. Okay, that's just vulgar. Mm. R.C. is a self-actualized woman of the 21st century, guys. Yep. And she's also got pink stripes. She's a motorcycle. Like a boy's vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> she's a Harley girl. Motorbike. Ooh, I can zoom in. Uh -huh. Austin Tucker says, will we see your grand delusions when the time is right? Yes. I, anyone who doesn't know what that means doesn't need to know what I just said. <laughs> Me and Austin Tucker know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Jumoso, baby. Jumoso. It's the covenant of grand delusion. Well, basically, I have this gun, right? Mm -hmm. that I'm going to be reviewing. Mm -hmm. And the gun is actually an anime girl. What? Who turns into a gun and then allows me to have a grand delusion. Mm. Alright, Pajamas Prime says, there's a shapeless chromia head for this figure. If UPS wasn't a factor, would you get it? Maybe. If UPS wasn't a factor, I'd have hella shapeways things right now. Because someone told me, like, oh, hey, Shapeways is having free shipping. You have no excuse. Like, no, no, the shipping cost of Shapeways is fine. It's like six bucks to ship something with Shapeways. That's awesome. It's the fact that it's going to be UPS in Canada who suck, who are, like, the worst company. Uh, <laughs> they go out of their way to be completely worse in an illogical way. You can't even predict their badness. That's right. Blech. I hate them. <laughs> Wheeljack says, why was she three robots? Oh, well, basically, 
Funny story. <laughs> From my vague recollection, so I'm going to get some things wrong for the Dark of the Moon, Revenge of the Fallen historians out there. In Revenge of the Fallen, Transformers 2, they were going to have uh, three motorbike ladies. It's RC, Alita 1, and Chromia. And the idea was they were going to combine into this monstrous female thing made of wheels and motorbikes, which was going to be awesome. And then Michael Bay was like, I think that that's stupid if they combine. Just leave them as lady robot motorcycles. And so they did. But they had vestiges of their combining idea left behind, which didn't really make much sense. And so even the toys have vestiges of that left behind. And it's a bummer, because they should have combined. Three one-legged girls combining into one giant one-legged girl. Why did they only have one leg? Artistic license. How are they supposed to run? They don't. Their, their one leg is a wheel. They, they had unicycle legs. Unicycle legs? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's pretty badass to look at. All right, the angry scientist wants to know why your UPS is so bad. Oh, man. Canada. <laughs> Ichabod says, good neighbor, merbikes. I believe it. That's what they looked like. They looked like mermaids, but instead of fishtails, they had, like, motorcycle tails. Mm. It was really cool. <laughs> uh, UPS in Canada sucks because it serves no purpose. Uh, it's not fast. You have to do a phone call to tell them to be your customs broker. So you have to actually receive a phone call from them and then tell them to go ahead and broker through the border the item that you've already paid for. Uh, and because of that, there will be a customs charge, which is higher than any customs charge you'll get from Canada Customs. And the only way to pay for that customs charge is to staple... Uh, cash to the to your front door. Now, you could also pay for it, you know, by being there when the thing arrives. The thing is, there's no way to know when it arrives because the tracking they give you doesn't work. Um, also, you can't have it moved to another location, like you know, with Canada Post, where they'll just take it to the post office and then you can pick it up there, pay for the customs there, and everything. Uh, if you want uh, UPS Canada to hold on to something for you at a UPS store. You yourself have to look up where the UPS stores are in your area because they're all apparently privately owned. You then have to call them to ask for permission to pay them a special fee to then hold on to your item for you so you can go there and then pay the customs fee. So the moral of the story is live in America. Oh. That hurt. <laughs> the moral of the story is also UPS in Canada literally has no reason to exist. It, it literally does not accomplish anything that Canada Post can't accomplish by itself <laughs> and is actually categorically worse at everything. I think you should drop all your dreams of editing and go to that company and fix it for future toy buyers. Become UPS Canada's savior. Yes. They'll never listen to me because I was mean to them on Twitter. <laughs> you saw it. I was kind of mean to them on Twitter. That's that day that I was mean to them and Megabus on Twitter. That's all I remember is the Megabus thing. Yeah. That was a fun day. Megabus was like, hell, maybe we can still work together in the future and future travels, dear customer. And I was like, you serve no purpose. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was you are of no use to me. Because the one destination I went to with your bus is no longer on your route. Jama Prime says, they haven't done any of this to me. I just waited at home to pick it up. My only gripe is that they charged me $20 at the door and would only take check or credit card. $20 at the door for an $8 item from Shapeways. I want everyone to think about that for a second. <laughs> yep. Come to the U.S. <laughs> so don't, don't ship to UPS then. Never use UPS in Canada. Use your regular post. Don't use order. FedEx either. They also suck. Boo. Pure Later also sucks. <laughs> all the couriers in Canada completely suck. They, they're they all... I don't know. They don't do anything useful. That's, that's the main thing. I, I don't know what they do that gives them a reason to exist. You know, in the U.S., we get mail on Saturdays. Yeah, I know. You get mail on Saturdays. That's, <laughs> we don't get mail on Saturdays. Also, our butter doesn't cost $6 a box. Well, you know, our butter is just really good. I don't know about that. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. I don't get how this works. Oh, I see how it works. It's a flower. 
No, uh, you're a flower. Boo. What is that thing? <laughs> it's her belly. Weird. Apple Fritter says, in elementary school, our milk was in bags. Is that what Canada is like every day? In Ontario? Yes. <laughs> yeah, not West Coast Canada. <laughs> I came to Ontario and I saw the milk in the bags and I was like, what are you guys doing over here? It is a little weird if you're not used to it. <laughs> Alberta uses cartons. That's right. Yeah, Alberta. BC uses cartons too. Oh, in Nova Scotia they had juice in bags. Okay, that's just weird. <laughs> well, that's kind of like um, Capri Sun. It was kind of in a bag. That stuff was really good. Capri Sun, did you have those in Canada? Yeah, that sounds familiar. I remember yeah. that they kept exploding. <laughs> in the commercials. Like the kid, oh, it's a patch. The kid puts the uh, the straw in. It's like <laughs> 90s awesome action sequence with skateboards. And you're like, you know, that's just juice. Yeah, I liked using skateboards when I had juice. <laughs> I call it my juice board. <laughs> my juice board. S.C. Bingham says, Capri Sun turned you into that thing from Terminator 2. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I remember now. It turned you into the T-1000. You went liquid metal. Yeah. Mm, liquid metal. <laughs> I heard in parts of Europe, milk comes in a bag, and they also don't refrigerate it. That bugs me a bit. Milk needs to be refrigerated, people. American milk does. What? European milk is just so high quality. It all comes from a cow. Yeah. You're or just gonna... maybe a goat. American cows. American cows. American cows give milk that can go rotten. They all give milk that can go rotten. Nope. It's the intrinsic property of milk. Look, Deutschland über alles. Okay. Deutschland über alles, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> In Germany, milk doesn't go bad. <laughs> I bet it does. Nope. I bet it does. There's no proof of, of rotten milk in Germany because everyone drinks it before it goes bad. If they didn't, if they opened the bag, stuck it oh. under the sink, and let it sit there in the warm <laughs> why air. Would, why would someone do that? I'm telling you, there's parts of Europe where they do that. I think in Hungary. I think I've heard they do that in Hungary. Well, no, no, they drink it before it goes bad, I'm sure. Um. <laughs> in Soviet Russia, bad goes milk. I don't get it. And someone else says, because nobody in Germany drinks milk. Yes, that's true. They all drink beer. No, they drink they drink milk. They give beer to the babies to get the babies ready for it. Well, you know, I, I have my beliefs that the drinking age should be lowered and the driving age should be raised, like in Germany. Blackstone Dresden says, Vangelis, what is your opinion on Vita Cola? Vita Cola? Never had it. So I don't, I don't have an opinion on it. Yet. You know what I do have an opinion on, though? The Pizza. fact that this V-Build is done. Yay! You all survived. Yay! So we have a shiny, shiny, shiny RC. Sweet. She is so shiny. Hi, RC. She's like, whoa. And then we can stick her pink robot on her. Bam. So she can hella cut fools <laughs> and still look pretty. Her pink robot kind of looks like a massive intestines. That's just mean. Wow. It was my initial observation. Well, I think we have <laughs> enough time to do another. <gasps> okay. So, uh, yeah, thanks all for watching. This has been Arms Micron RC, brought to you by HLJ, I forgot to mention. This is an HLJ-sponsored V-Build, the second one. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back in a second, uh, and we might be doing a little bit of cosmo -tectoring. So uh, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, strawberries... Uh, strawberries. Uh, strawberries. Yeah, yeah. Touch your boob. Yeah, touch. Yeah. Ah. Respectful. <laughs>